Hey, Naptop here, and I'm at a baseball field right before sundown, but I wanted to show you something I picked up at Dollar Tree. One dollar, a clip-on wide-angle lens. Let's just see what this looks like right now. You ready? Let's just clip it on right now. Now, these are extreme conditions with the sun right behind me. You can see a little reflection here. You'll see a little vignetting like right here. I think you even see some of the lens and that's just some of the positioning of the lens. The other little clip-on lens that I bought for about eight dollars online looks like this and it has a removable lenses. It's the Vivitar and to do a little comparison let's just see what it looks like. This is the Dollar Tree and this is the Vivitar. So there's the Vivitar wide-angle lens and Let's see again what the Dollar Tree one looks like. So there's a little difference there. You can see, I'm not sure, but I think that the Vivitar is glass optics where this Dollar Tree dollar clip on wide angle lens is plastic. I think that looks pretty cool. And you can see, I mean, it, it changes up your shot dramatically, I think. And just to have this, I've just been carrying around like that on my pocket, have it with me. If I'm out and about, just want to change up shots, go for it. But anyways, I wanted to share it with you guys, all my free time filmmakers out there. Check it out. If you're at the Dollar Tree, or if you have a dollar store around, look for it. I picked up a couple of these just because why not? I'll show you some shots here. You can see what it looks like before and after. Let's just face it. Everyone's got their phone with them. Why not carry something like this with you? Have it with you. If you're doing some vlog stuff or you just wanted to get some documentation, you get a wide angle lens. It comes in kind of handy for certain shots, but I hope this was helpful for you. Whoa, whoa, Thanks whoa, for whoa. Watching. hang on, hang on, hang on. We're not done yet. I know what you're thinking. How are there more minutes? It's a dollar clip on wide angle lens. We get it, not top, but I'm not gonna just talk to you and tell you about this $1 clip on lens and show you a couple side-by-side -side comparisons that were eh, questionably even worth looking at. I'm gonna show you what I learned using this little clip on lens and give you a couple tips and tricks that you can use to get the best performance out of it. Okay, you ready for this? So first things first, if you have your phone, you're gonna wanna remove the case if possible. If you have a really thick case, the problem is the lens isn't going to sit flush against the lens and you're gonna see that black border. Now that's not a big deal because you can always zoom past it either in the camera or in post when you're editing. With your phone or the camera app you're using, you're gonna wanna lock the exposure. This wide angle lens is gonna take in light a lot differently and if it's on auto exposure, it's gonna do all kinds of crazy stuff. If you're using an iPhone, you just press and hold on the screen while you're shooting in the default camera app and that'll lock your exposure and your focus. If you're using Filmic Pro, that app, you can go in and make those manual settings as well. And while we're at it, while we're in that app, let's turn off image stabilization. That's gonna be kind of funky when you have the wide angle lens on. So turn that off as well. Optimal performance. Something else you can do, if you're using the cheap lens, be sure to clean that thing really good. You can see in these samples that the lens flare was awful. So try to avoid lens flare with one of these cheap dollar lenses. You get what you pay for. And you can see it's not a convex lens, it's concaved, is that right? And it's also really cheap plastic. In the description of this video, I put some links that you can check out some higher quality lenses if you're looking for something a little bit nicer than a $1 plastic clip-on wide angle lens. Another thing you wanna think about doing if you're shooting action footage is change the frame rate. Most phones default at 30 frames. If you're using Filmic Pro, you can crank it up even higher. 
120. See, I don't wanna just tell you about the lens, I wanna tell you how to get the best performance out of it. Let's recap real quick. Remove the case if you can so you get the lens as close as possible. Lock your exposure, turn off image stabilization, increase the frame rate, and unless you really like that grungy look, you might want to avoid lens flares pointing away from the sun. And be sure to clean the lens as good as possible. So there you go, that's the lens that I think every filmmaker should have with them. And there's a couple tricks and tips on how to get the best performance out of it. Free time filmmaker, Knob Top, Go make something.